The other type of genetic resistance in Australian canola cultivars is what we call quantitative resistance. So quantitative resistance is very poorly understood from a genetic perspective, but it has a very, very big effect on our cultivars. And what we think happens is that there's lots of little minor genes with very minor effect, but when you add them all together, you can actually get a large effect. So for instance, a cultivar with a MRMS type um, black leg rating may have 10 of these minor genes, an MR may have 20, and an R-rated cultivar may have 30. We don't know how many there are, we don't know how they work, but we do know that they're present, and we do know that they're additive. Now, the way the breeders select for these quantitative or minor genes is by basically growing canola on canola and then selecting plants with the least amount of disease. So they're always, every generation, growing, making crosses, creating diversity, and then selecting plants, which we hope have got lots of combinations of all these minor genes. And then as a grower, what you see is a black leaf or a canola cultivar with a higher black leaf rating and it gets less disease. The real benefit of this quantitative resistance is that because there's lots of genes involved, it's much harder for the pathogen to overcome this resistance. So it's a much more robust resistance. Um, if you've got an MR type cultivar, it's not gonna come be, come or get overcome by the pathogen and then become completely susceptible the next year. We may see eroding over time. We've certainly seen cultivars which have started their life as an MR type black leg rating, and then over a five to 10 year period, they've ended up as an MS cultivar. However, like I said, that happens over a long period of time and these, those cultivars can still be protected with um, things like fungicides, etc. So the black leg rating that you get as a grower is a combination of the major gene resistance and the quantitative resistance. And if it's R-rated, it's highly likely that the, um, the major gene is still effective. If it's less than that, it means that the major gene's probably been overcome and the cultivar is now dependent on these um, minor genes or quantitative resistance. At Newseed, we're continually testing our blackleg genetics by the use of blackleg nurseries. This consists of planting untreated seed into an existing canola stub. This puts maximum pressure onto our varieties and allows us to select for the varieties with highest resistance.